In this video, we will discuss how to create a warranty claim. Now, warranty claim comes under support module in ERP Next. Now, in order to understand warranty claim better, let's first see a scenario. Consider that you bought an earphones online. Now, after few months after you purchased, the, ear the earphones just stopped working. Now, if the earphones are still in the warranty period, you can either get the free replacement or you can get the free repair for the earphones. But what happens if the warranty expires, you won't be able to claim the free repair or free re replacement. So that's how warranty claim works. It's pretty simple. I'm sure we all must have claimed warranty at least once. Now, an important prerequisite for creating a warranty claim. So if you are creating a warranty claim, you need to make sure that the item which a customer bought have a serial number linked with it. So serial number is an important factor here. Now there is a whole video about how to create a serial number. So you can watch that in order to understand it better. So let's see how, what are the, all the steps that we need to take in order to create it properly. Now first thing is you need to create an item and add a warranty period for an item. So I'll go to the item list over here. Let's take this item over here. I won't create a new item, I'll take the existing item and use it as an example. So I'll take this item as an example, air conditioner. So what I have done over here is if I scroll down to inventory section, okay, yeah, over here we have the inventory section. Here I have specified the warranty period, like how many days will this have a warranty, how many like days you can you want to add. So here I have added 40 days, you can add depending upon your requirement, any number of days that you want to add. So after this is done, like I have created an item, I have created, added the warranty period. And the next thing I did was I did a stock entry so that uh, I can get the serial numbers for this air conditioner. Now let me show you. So here if you see, these are all the 10 serial numbers belonging to air conditioner. So that was the first step. Now we did that. So let's see the next step that is add a serial number for an item. Okay, this one is also done. Basically, we have a serial number for this particular air conditioner. Now next step is add warranty claim from warranty claim list. Now you will uh, you'll be able to add warranty claim only after a customer have a sales order from you. So what I'll do is I'll create a sales order for this particular item. Okay, so we can directly create it from here. Okay, let's use this. For customer, let's say, and here we already have the item. I'll select the delivery date, consider it as a today's date, and let's save it. Now, after you've created a sales order, you also need to create a delivery note or a sales invoice where you are actually adding the serial number. So, let's create a delivery date. And I'll scroll down here and I'll say add serial number. So if you click on auto fetch, what it will do is it will add the available serial number, whichever one is available right now. So this one it is. And let's say, okay, before saving, let me show you one more thing. So I'll go to the serial number list again. So here, if you notice, we got this one. We got this serial number, right? So let me go to that one, that is three. Now here, if you see, there is a warranty period over here, 40, which was set in the item, um, in the item record. Now here, I'll, I'll just click on save and then we'll see the date that we get. Now let's refresh this one. I'm refreshing the serial number so that we can see the date that we get here over here. So since we have added this warranty period over here as 40, here it automatically um, selected the 40 days after, like warranty expiry date was set automatically. So it is recommended to add the warranty period in an item. So this way, whenever you create a warranty claim, the dates will be automatically fetched. So after this is done, I'll go to the warranty claim list. add warranty claim let's select the customer as and here we'll select the serial number for which there was a sales order and delivery note created now the just now we did it for this one the third number 
and here if you see we have this warranty expiry date over here 18th of December and here you can specify like what is the issue why uh, why is customer claiming the warranty so let's say air conditioner stopped working this is a very basic example so that's how you create a warranty claim now from warranty claim you can create a maintenance visit maintenance visit is basically where a salesperson from your company will go to the customer's place and will do a resolution like uh, basically resolve whatever issue the customer is fa facing so after the issue will be resolved here the status will change from open to closed and here we'll have all the details so let me show you one of the closed warranty claim so this one if you see this is the closed one and here we have all the resolution date and resolved by so all these details will be captured over here now usually warranty claim can be created by maintenance user now if you want that customer should also be able to create a warranty claim through the website so what you can do is you can go to the web form and you can add warranty claim form Le over here if you see I have just added it so you can add this warranty claim form on the website so this way the customers can come in and fill all the details so that's how this all works that's how the warranty claim works I hope this video was helpful to you in the next video I will record the maintenance visit in, in detail so thank you so much for watching